we are at 11426 Acacia Grove Lane in Riverview, Florida, and we're going to go ahead and uh, complete the walkthrough for the buyer. Right, so this is the outside. Looks to be in good shape. All of the grass looks to be in good shape along with the landscaping. And then Steve is going to kind of take the camera around to give you a look here at the front area, and then we're going to take a look at the back here shortly. thing we did notice which is marked on the inside is this window right up here um, has some paint or scratches on it up at the top so that definitely needs to be fixed or if it can be fixed or repair that window or replace it going to be the entryway. Once again, we have marked the window up there. You might be able to see it a little bit better from the inside of what's going on there. We noticed um, a few of the outlets in here have overspray on them or paint. So this is the first one right here. And then the uh, light switch has overspray as well on it. And then this outlet down here um, has a few cracks at the top of it there that kind of need to be fixed. Then we're going to go into the formal dining area. Um, the first thing we notice is on the chandelier, uh, the glass pieces here have scratches on them or marks that need to be fixed. And the chain is also too long and, and needs to be pulled through correctly. The window in the formal dining area. The window in the formal dining area also has paint on it here that needs to be taken off. And the outlet in the formal dining area is upside down and also has quite a bit of overspray on it. Okay, from there we're going to head in to the little nook area here. Everything looks good here. We did notice on the pantry, when we walk into the pantry, that there's some paint or overspray on the door handle here. And it seems to maybe be scratched here, so I can't tell if that's paint or... It might be, yeah, it looks like it's just paint, um, so that's going to need to be taken off. Okay, and then Steve is walking into the kitchen here. Um, we did notice there is a little dent. Um, you have to look at it in the right lighting, but there is a little dent right here on the microwave that's going to need to be uh, replaced or fixed. Okay, and then we're going to head over to the laundry room. Washer and dryer seem to be in good shape. Um, once you head into the laundry room, right in here, we notice the light has a little uh, burnt mark on it there, so that's going to need to be actually replaced. And then as you're heading out to the garage, it looks like down here um, by the kick plate, it looks like it's scratched up, so they're going to need to replace that. The garage looks to be in good shape. All the um, the few or the uh, breakers are uh, labeled properly, legible. Um, you got your sprinkler, sprinkler system. system. Rainbird, so it's a really good one here. Get it open. There we go. So it tells you how to program everything, so everything's in there um, on those. These are your uh, storm shutters. They're actually uh, probably made out of Kevlar. Uh, way easier to use than the metal ones. And very effective. And then this is your little kitchen nook area for your eating kitchen, and it looks like 
the chandelier. The glasses look to be in good shape here, but the chain is just a little bit too long. Um, it needs to be cut properly on that. The sliding door looks good. There's no jams or anything there. And then we're gonna walk outside here. Once again, the grass uh, looks to be in good shape here. Uh, paint and there's quite a bit of paint on this one here so that's definitely going to need to be replaced or fixed and then the glass itself also has um, some paint on it as well that needs to be taken off and then down by the kick plate with the wood piece there it also has um, paint on it and the weather stripping has paint so that will need to be fixed as well now we're just going to kind of take a look at the ACs and the other side of the house over here These are brand new, they're working properly. We're gonna just walk back in this way. So in this little hallway downstairs, once again, there's overspray on the light switches here that need to be fixed. And on that door going outside as well, um, there's also some paint there that needs to be taken off. Then we're going to head into the bathroom here downstairs. It looks to be in good shape. I didn't find anything um, wrong in this area. So a little linen closet. Everything's good in there. And then your um, downstairs bedroom. The only thing I noticed in here um, was the outlet here is upside down and there's a little bit of um, sticky stuff on the window there that's going to need to be taken off. painted or replaced. Um, there's quite a bit of scratches and scuff marks on those. And then going up into this area as well, it needs to be repainted or sanded down and, and redone as well. Once we make it to the top of the stairs, um, we notice that there's a crack right in here. Um, so something's going to need to be put there to kind of push that up against the railing and then we have the bathroom upstairs there's a little bit of paint on the wood floor out here um, that they're going to need to take off and then the bathroom upstairs looks to be all in all in good shape except for this is missing um, a light bulb here we want a light bulb put in to make sure that the outlet and everything's working properly okay we're going to head into the loft area um, we did notice by on the railings over on this side over here, there is a hole. So either it needs to be filled or maybe a trim piece. Obviously, if they do a trim piece over here instead of just filling it in, they're going to need to do a trim piece on the other side to match as well. here that's upside down as well. AC doors um, open properly. I did take a look in here to make sure, you know, everything's done right and sealed and it looks like everything is done correctly in there. Okay, now we're going to enter into the other bedroom. 
once again, it looks good in here. The only thing is we have one, another switch that is upside down. much in here except for we do have one other outlet that is upside down as well. Now we're going to head to the master bedroom. Looks good in here. Have one outlet upside down. And then go in here. And sinks and everything look to be in good shape. I'm gonna go in here. So see in there. Linen closet in here, good shape. The closet door opens properly, shuts properly, and then your master closet. All right, so that will complete um, our walkthrough at 11426. Thank you.